For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where you have three cables supporting a 40 pound flower pot. Find the force developed in each cable. So basically, we have four cables, and each of these cables has a univector. So that's the first step. Find all the univectors. So there's four univectors. You got the univector holding the flower pot, a univector going towards B, a univector going towards C, and a univector going towards D. Each of these univectors, of course, is a univector, so it has a magnitude of 1. So let's find all the univectors. Univector AB is equal to 0 in the i plus 1 in the j plus 0 in the k. It's very easy to find because it's parallel to the y, therefore it's just 1 in the j. Univector AC is almost the same case. It's parallel to the x, so it's univector. It's 0 in the i. Actually, sorry, it's 1 in the i parallel to the x plus 0 on the j plus 0 in the k and then there's univector ad now to find univector ad you need to find it's a little bit more complicated because it has magnitude on all three uh, directions so the, what you do is you find where is a point a and point d Find all the points involved. A sits at 1.5 in the i, plus 2 in the j, plus 0 in the k. And D sits at 0 in the i, plus 0 in the j, plus 1.5 in the k. So next thing you need to do is find the vector that goes from A to D. And to do that, you got to do D minus A. These are all vectors. So D minus A comes out to be minus 1.5 in the I, minus 2 in the J, plus 1.5 in the K. Then you need to find the magnitude of this vector. The magnitude of this vector is easily found by doing the X component square plus the Y component square plus the C component square. They all become positive, even the negative ones. And it comes out to be 2.915. And last, to find univector AD, you basically divide the vector AD by its magnitude. So each of these three values, you divide by 2.915. And univector AD comes out to be minus 0.514 in the A, in the I minus 0.666 in the j plus 0.514 in the k so now you have all those three univectors we're just missing one univector which is a univector for the pot the one going uh, straight down the univector for the pot is going is parallel to the c-axis and it's going straight down so it's 0 on the i plus 0 on the j minus 1 in the k the next thing that you need to do, let me turn the page, is multiply the univectors by the magnitudes or the forces. So basically, you have uh, the force AB the force AC, the weight of the pot, and the force AD. And remember, the one going down is the weight of the flower pot. The flower pot weights uh, 40 pounds, so the weight of the flower pot can be calculated by doing 40 kilograms, sorry, it's 40 kilograms, not pounds, times the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81 times meters per second square, and it gives you 392.4 newtons. That's the weight of the pot. So then what you need to do is you need to multiply all the univector by the magnitudes. And that's going to make that problem much easier, you'll see. So you got the force AB 
times a univector AB, the force AC times a univector AC, the force AD times a univector AD, and the weight of the pot times a univector for the pot which is going straight down. And it's going to give you the Cartesian vector form of each of these vectors. So for AB times the univector AB is zero in the I plus AB in the J plus zero in the K. AC is AC in the I plus zero in the J plus zero in the K. AD times univector AD is minus 0.514 AD in the I minus 0.686 AD in the J plus 0.514 AD in the K and the weight of the pot is 0 in the I plus 0 in the J and it's going straight down so it's minus 392.4 newtons in the K now that you build this uh, useful table, you know that when you add all, all of these together, the S with the I's, the J's with the J's, and the K's with the K's, you're going to get 0, 0, and 0 because we're in equilibrium. Which means that you can build equations from this. So for the first equation, the equation for the things that are happening in the X direction in the I, 0 plus AC minus 0.514 AD plus 0 is equal to 0, therefore is AC minus 0.514 AD is equal to 0. For the J, you get that AB minus 0.686 AD is equal to 0. And for the K, you get that 0.514 AD minus 392.4 is equal to 0. So we got three formulas. As you can see, the third formula is easily solved. So let's name this formula 1, this formula 2. Formula 3 can easily be solved by divide, uh, you pass 392 to the other side and you divide it by 0.514 and you get that AD is equal to 763.4 newtons. Then you plug in this value into 1 and into 2, and you get the other two values of AC and AB. AC comes out to be 392.4 newtons, and AB comes out to be 523.7 newtons. So, final answer for AD, final answer for AC, and final answer for AB. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.